Heavenly Father, we gather here in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and your Son, and we witness this beautiful day, this beautiful covenant ceremony for James, Derek, and Heidi. Lord, we pray that this ceremony would be a blessing to them and that these commitments would be empowered by your Spirit, that you would carry them forward to live these things out for all the rest of the days of their lives. Heidi Elizabeth Hankin, I make these covenant vows to you today. Through Jesus' strength and grace, I commit to serving you, ministering to you, supporting you, encouraging you, praying for you, and challenging you as the Holy Spirit leads that I might help you flourish, thrive, and become all that Jesus is calling and inviting you to be. In these ways, I hope to be a small, tangible expression of Jesus' infinite love for you and to point you back to him. I commit to courageously and vulnerably bring myself into this relationship to invite you into my joys, my struggles, my triumphs, and my failures, and to embrace you, embracing your strengths, your weaknesses, your struggles, joys, and triumphs. I commit to choosing and loving you as you grow and change, to pursuing Jesus with you and following him together to supporting and encouraging you in the individual ministries Jesus has for you, to exploring with you what ministry and mission Jesus is calling us to together, and partnering with you and Jesus to expand God's kingdom in this world. I take you to be my wife from this day forward. I vow to love you and stay by your side in the good times as well as the bad, when we have a lot and when we have only a little in sickness and in health, till death do us part. I love you, I choose you, I'm committed to you, I cherish you. We've met Heidi a couple of times, and just from small meeting, you, you know kinder spirits. And from the minute we met her and was able to talk to her, you know her heart, you know how she is. She's very comfortable with herself. She's very stable with her Christianity, with her walk, with where she's at. And she's exactly perfect for what Derek needs. And we knew whenever he left to go to Minnesota because he was pursuing his walk with God. He literally sold out everything he had in Louisiana to come up here and do this, to pursue and to follow. And I'm so glad that he, that he did that and he's doing what he feels his passion is. Dear Heidi, my love, my wildflower, my treasure. My heart is bursting with joy. Honestly, I am struggling to write this letter because no words feel adequate to express what's in my heart. You have changed my life, my dear. Ever since I was a kid, I dreamed of falling in love. It was a dream that at points in my life became an idol. I at times sacrificed my values in pursuit of false versions of this dream, and at one point gave up hope that love, the kind my heart longed for, existed. Then you came along and it blows my mind how each and every day you have consistently prayed for me, made time for me, invested in us, encouraged me, and courageously shared your heart. Derek, my honeybee, here we are on the cusp of beginning our new covenant union. I'm so excited. I got a couple words slash pictures this morning I couldn't resist sharing. I got the phrase, you will minister to others by the way you love each other reminded me of John 13, 35. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. How cool. Our love and our covenant union is an outlet for ministry. I love how consistent she is. I love how loving she is, how caring she is, how kind she is to other people, how she really does have a good heart and really does want to bless people. She would write letters and pray for people and all throughout Soma. One time she was sick and she missed like three days and she came back with a big stack of letters and distributed them to everybody. And um, yeah, I just thought it was pretty awesome how she intentionally wanted to do that to bless people, even though she was kind of sick. Wow. Hey, 
Don't you like the fact? I do. It's wonderful. <laughs> I feel like the moment that I see you, it'll be a pretty special moment. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I know you're probably going to be viewing this after everything's happened, but just know that my heart's pretty full and bursting with joy. Today we are entering into a new, deeper phase of our journey together. Today we become husband and wife. Today I can finally express in fullness what I have longed to express for quite some time. I will finally be able to say, my heart is fully yours. I give all of me to you. I commit myself to you, to us, and if you are willing to do the same, I will receive and accept you fully this day as my wife. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your spouse. Yeah!